We need to go to the police. Come clean. Whoa. Look, it wasn't an animal. It was a person. And we just drove off. I mean, they could be dead for all we know. I checked the local news this morning. There was nothing about a hit and run. We're in the clear. In the clear? What, like, that's all that matters? Look at the family, Martin. Two kids in each child sport. Look, the clever clocks from yesterday. Bex. I told you her name was Bex. The point is, you need to keep your nose clean to look after them. It was an accident. The bloke stepped out in front Blow of Blow, so you did see him. You want me to knock you out? You need to get rid of your van. No. No. <laughs> I can't do this. I can't do any of this. Don't underestimate the foul that made. What's that? Your car. I don't want your blood money. See yourself. Happy Christmas. Oh my god, I, I didn't actually think you were. You were joking. I mean, you look amazing. Look at your figure. Well, if you got it flaunting. Yeah, I'm not flaunting anything, Mick. I oh, know. Yeah, I just thought it'd be a laugh. So you can come for Christmas dinner? Um. I thought you'd turn Patrick down. I had, but, uh. Listen, Amy said that some bloke had rung Cherie yesterday and she was being all secretive about him. So I reckon if I go there for lunch, then I might be able to know and catch him out. <clears throat> you all right, Whit? Oh, you all right? Yeah. I heard about Callum beating seven bells out of that Leo. Has he been walked off? Well, we'll see. I'm meeting him here. I'm going to draw the line. Really? You, uh, you sure that's a good idea? Yeah. I ain't gonna be scared anymore. Got myself an early Christmas present. I'm not going anywhere till I know you're safe. The winners, eh? Well done, the winners. <laughs> this is lovely, Linda. Thank oh. you. Yeah, it's delicious. Beef bourguignon, my mum's recipe. Mm. Yeah, takes me back. Mm. Oh, Mick likes the crispy bits, they're his favourites. Mm. Well, no, I've never had this before. That's a uh, 80s classic, that is, Ruby. Yeah. Ruby weren't even born. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was, 88. Uh, that don't count. <laughs> Must be hard when she don't get your uh, banana rama references, eh, Max? <laughs> I mean, luckily we've both got a good taste in music, so we're usually on a level, right? Yeah. Oh, meow. Someone's got their claws out. I'm only joking. Congratulations, Mick, for the uh, nativity play last week and all that. Yeah, well, I wish Cheers, I could have been there, but I was working, wasn't I? <laughs> oh, come on. I'm sure that's not true. Why'd you say that? Well, I'm sure that a woman like you has far more exciting things to be going to than a children's play. What do you mean, a, a woman like me? Oh, just that when you're career-focused, you have to be selfish. Our children don't really fit into the picture, do they? I mean, a woman can be more than one thing, you know, Linda. This isn't actually the 80s. And anyway, I, I loved hanging out with Ollie when I stayed here. I thought we really bonded over that clock game. No, you did. He, he, he really took to you. <laughs> oh, yeah! The clocks! Although we did have to bin that one you gave us yesterday. Hmm. Yeah, they were driving us mad. <laughs> the place was starting to feel like Geppetto's workshop. Not that we're not great for this. It was a really... Oh, come on, Mick. Nice. You know, we're all so British sometimes. It's, it's better to be honest. Right, Ruby? Yeah, totally. Oh. Should I open another bottle? Uh, no, 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 no. No, just a little one for me, then. If you don't mind, Max. <laughs> Let's see now.